Welcome to the Lloyd Noble Center. We're here at the Oklahoma campus, home of the Sooners. Especially, Mike. I think they put a lot of pressure on the defense with the way they move without the ball. They find the open man, and when the ball arrives, they're always ready to shoot. And it always seems to pay off, doesn't it? Well, those fundamentals, they're a very well-coached team, and if they get into a rhythm, they become almost impossible to guard. Rickard misses the jump shot. The Sooners bring it up court with a two-point lead. is back. From beyond the arc. This kid will just not be blocked out. Great second chance opportunity. And sometimes desire overcomes talent. Well, yeah, I think desire always does. It's a tremendous job right there. Riddle with the inbound pass. The Kentucky Wildcat take the ball up, down four points right now. Augustine makes a nice assist on that bucket. Lowell Rickard. Takes the jumper. Zahn clanked it off the right side. They get it down low. Inside. Lampley doesn't get enough on the shot, comes up short. He puts it up. Burnett, holy cow, what a fantastic spin move, and gets the bucket. It's denied. The Sooners, with the ball, the lead is four. Burnett is going to get the charging call. Burnett is called for charging. That's his first foul of the game. Riddle with the inbound. Picked off. Releases. The Kentucky Wildcats. He sinks the second. It goes in deep. Harsha draws a lot of contact. He'll have a chance to get two at the line. That defense was not letting any easy basket go on that play. He gets the first of two. Mm -hmm. 
His second attempt is off. Four-point game we've got right now. With the jump shot. Boy, Mike, that's really impressive. He gets the two-pointer to go, and he'll get to the free throw line. Jay, that's great concentration. He's got a chance for a three-point play. Boy, that could be a big play in this type of game. He completes the three-point play. Goss with the inbound pass. The Sooners have the ball there. up Augustine pulls down the defensive rebound throws it back riddle up top with the ball with the shot Lampley misses from 16. Burnett draws a lot of contact. He'll have a chance to get two at the line. Good shot, good shot. He makes his first shot at the line. And he's off on the second. The Cats, with a two-pointer this trip down, they can tie it up. It's dropped in low. Augustine couldn't get it to go after the hack, but draws the foul. A chance for two from the free throw strike. He gets the first of two. And he misses the second free throw. Riddle gets it to go and puts them up. Throws the ball inbounds. Delivers back. Burnett up top. Zahn, the three. Zahn misses with the tray. The Kentucky Wildcats have the ball. They're up by one. Hogan Julian. gets the okay. swish. Bad matchup inside, and they're paying for it. You can't really stop a guy that's athletic and that much bigger than you. They've got to switch the coverage and be more active in denying him position and where he receives that entry pass. Foul whistle on the defense. The second person. Zahn gets called for the foul, foul. trying to re... Throws it in. Puts it up. Oh, that was pretty. The Cats get the bucket. That's seven unanswered. Augustine going to the bench. It's a five-point game. Burnett picks up his fifth point of the half. He has been a scoring machine all night tonight. Triggers it in. And returns the ball. Riddle up top with the ball. 
The Cats score again. They got on this roll a while ago, and they That's just have a win back. Limply. McCroman is called for charging. That's his first personal. That's his first foul. Foul of the game. The Wildcats have it, and they're starting to roll. 16 of the last 22. It's a six-point ball game. McCroman connects from 10. McCroman. The Cats with the ball, 14 to six run here. There's no need for the rush shot there. The coach can't be happy about that one. Nice work getting that rebound, and Jay, that's one thing they've done very well tonight, controlling the glass. Mike, it's been relentless pursuit of the basketball on the boards. That's just hard work, and it's put them in a position to limit their opponents to one shot, and they're getting high percentage second chance opportunities on their offensive end. Up top with the ball. Here we go. Let's look at the replay on this one. Jay, there's the contact and no foul call. Then he finishes it successfully. Oh, Beautiful play, strong and effective. They're letting these kids play out there. And that was pretty, wasn't it? Hogan passes it in. The Wildcats bring it up court with a two-point lead. Riddle misses. He just shot that one short. The Sooners with a two-pointer this trip down. They can tie it up. It's knocked away. Lampley steals it, and that's his first takeaway of the game. Goss heads to the bench. Spent quite a bit of time on the bench. Now coming back in. With the extra point at the line, he completes a three-point play. The Oklahoma Sooners are back five on the score the board. Puts it up. Harmon, tough look, doesn't get it to go. Hogan has it ricochet off the left side of the rim. Lampley gets called for the reach in. That will be his second foul of the contest. Lampley will come out of the game because of foul trouble. Passes it back. McFarlane with the ball up top. Ball fed inside to the post. Oh, what a great pass that guy just threw there. He found the open man and got it right to him with his hands ready. Outstanding. Jim, when you play with somebody that's that good a passer, you really have to pay attention. That's what's called making everybody better, and he did it with his passing ability. That's impressive. The Cats with the ball and a three-point advantage. Kicks it back. Billings is hacked and will go to the line for a couple. He hits the first free throw. And he goes a perfect two for two at the line. The Sooners are back five on the scoreboard. Feeds it back. McFarlane up top. Pulls up. McFarlane with the shot from the wings. Good. Three-point spread on the 
the scoreboard. Throws it back. They drop it into the low post. McCloman passes outside. Really solid job defensively there, Mike, early on in the close game. I really like the way this team has come out with a defensive mindset. Gives it back. McCroman has it up top. Only seven on the shot clock. Kicks it back. The shot, shot clock, clock ran out. They'll give up the ball. Oh, the coach has to be livid about that play. There is no excuse for not getting a shot up before that shot clock. Mike, that was a complete waste of a possession. Come off the floor. Riddle looks fresh coming back out. Harsha puts the ball in play. Down low with the ball. Riddle passes outside. They're running the court. The Sooners down by three with the ball. Goss can't finish the alley-oop. The Sooners, Jay, they're down a little bit as we move through the first half. Analyze their play so far. Mike, it's early and they're still down a little bit, but I think they need to share the ball more. Make some more passes, make that defense work. Augustine clanged that one off the back of the rim. Three-point spread on the scoreboard. Nice play there. He got absolutely pounded and still finished the play. Now he gets a free throw. A powerful move to the basket. Really pinned his defender that went straight up for the slam. And don't forget the foul. And that's a huge momentum play. Very difficult to defend because this kid knows exactly how to get the ball up onto the rim when he gets it inside. He completes the three-point play. They get it down low. Augustine is fouled hard on the way up. He'll get two shots at the line. You don't like to have him shooting free throws because he misses a lot of the time. They don't need bricks if they want to take the lead. He gives them the lead. And he succeeds at the strike two for two. Croman feeds it out. Clock down to six. The Sooners tucked it last. Mance comes off the floor for now. Augustine now with 10 points Zachary. in the half. He has Augustine. been a scoring machine all night tonight. The Oklahoma Sooners take the ball up, down four points right now. Throws it back. Releases. Harmon fired long. Four point game we've got right now. They drop it inside. Riddle is fouled hard on the way up. He'll get two shots at the line. He hits the first free throw. Hogan comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. He gets them both. Day inbounds the ball. The Oklahoma Sooners 
are trailing by six and have the ball. Here's the break. Hogan couldn't get it to go after the back, but draws the foul, a chance for two from the free throw strike. trouble. So Markham will leave the floor. He gets the first of two. No problem at the line, he drops both free throws. The Oklahoma Sooners decide to call a timeout. Harmon with the inbound. Passes back. in deep. Riddle sends it back outside. Rickard oh, commits the charge. Rickard is going to get the charging foul. call. That will be his second foul of the contest. Gregory spent quite a bit of time on the bench. Now coming back in. The Oklahoma Sooners... What a beautiful job of forcing the defender to commit one way and then deals to the open man. And that's how you get your teammates involved, Mike. Delivers back. McFarlane with it up top. Now in the low post. McCroman storms the glass with a one-hand jam. Passes back. Harmon reaching for the ball and is whistled. That's his first foul of the game, but we're already in the double bonus, and we'll go to the line. He makes his first shot at the line. Beckwith entering the game for the first time. And he succeeds at the strike two for two. The Oklahoma Sooners trailing here by 10 points with the ball. Kicks it back. It's passed inside. Back with a little short on that one, but got the soft rim. The Wildcats have it, and in the last 16, they've scored a dozen. Takes the shot. Brooks snares the rebound. The differential is eight. Jay, this is what we expected, turning out to be a really good game. And you love the way these kids are playing with intensity on both ends of the floor. They are really battling for every loose ball, and they both need this game. The Kentucky Wildcats with the ball. They're up six points. You have to be surprised to witness such an offensive Augustine. output from this kid, Jay. No question about it, Mike. He's a talented low post player, but they've been shutting him down there, and he's floated out to the perimeter, and he's been really hurting him with those perimeter shots. I think they've got to get out on him now because he's proven he can hit that shot. It's been a nice surprise for this team. Having a Jay Billis night. <laughs> Augustine gets the rebound. He now has five on the game. The Cats with the ball. 14 to 6 run here. 
Well, this run is giving them some breathing room. Yeah, they're going to be tough to catch if they keep playing the way they're playing right now. This has been really solid, and that can deflate any comeback attempt. Billings going to the bench. He converts at the line and finishes the three-point play the old-fashioned way. The Sooners down 11 with the ball. Gives it back. Throws it back. Mike, neither team can point to an advantage in this game, and that tells me the closing minutes of this first half are all about toughness. Who's going to get the loose ball? Who's going to get the big defensive rebounds? The answer to that will hold the key to the lead at halftime. Nine-point game we've got going. Here comes the fast break. Mance is hacked and will go to the line for a couple. Harsha got a long break on the bench, and Coach decides he wants him back out there. Sinks the second. Augustine inbounds the ball. Fires. Good shot with the jumper there. Oh, and does that dish set up a play? And the jumper goes in. Great execution of the total all-around play. Nails the J. The differential is eight. It's dropped in low. Another score, and just look at the way these talented kids are matching up tonight. It's been a compelling matchup, Mike. They're going right at each other, and you've got pretty even production out there from these top two guys. They're going to have to pick it up defensively against each other. This is a great matchup. And it might last all night long, too. Mance up top with the ball. Beckwith for three. Nice work getting that rebound. And Jay, that's one thing they've done very well tonight, controlling the glass. Mike, it's been relentless pursuit of the basketball on the boards. That's just hard work, and it's put them in a position to limit their opponents to one shot, and they're getting high percentage second chance opportunities on their offensive end. Delivers back. Seven on the shot clock. Harsha out on top. Passes back. Harsha goes glass for the easy two. The Cats are leading by ten and they have the ball. Feeds it back. Harsha with the inbound. The Sooners have possession trailing by a dozen. Hogan steals it, and that's his first takeaway of the game. The Sooners couldn't hang on to the ball and went out of bounds off of the player. McFarland will come off the floor. Romero comes in. He doesn't get a whole lot of minutes. Stevenson has the ball up top. Picks his pocket. Yeah. 
Brooks with it on top. Oh, what a great look. And the guy was looking for that pass as well. Both those guys on the same wavelength. Just the eye contact got it done. Look at the assist on the replay. It just doesn't get any better. And you can make a great pass and a great finish on top of it. That's really good basketball. Stevenson with the ball up top. He fires. Hogan sinks it and now has 15 Julian. points. Hogan. Man, that was not an easy shot, and somehow they've been successful playing this way since the game started. Yeah, Mike, the defense has been playing tough, but when the other team keeps hitting tough shots like that, you've got to stay focused and not be brought down mentally by the other team doing something spectacular. And if you're on defense, you just hope it doesn't last much longer. Six left on the shot clock. They'll have to get one off in a hurry. These clubs separated by 12. Markham botches the layup. Stevenson lays Charles. it in. Stevenson. That's a big play. He's ta taking on a very good defensive player, and his shot just sails right past him for the basket. Returns the ball. Mance has it up top. Passes it back. Seven to go, the shot clock winding down. Fires the three. Brooks set it flying but can't get it. The Kentucky Wildcats take it up. They're ahead 14 points right now. The Sooners, 14 points behind and have the ball. Stevenson steals it, and that's his first takeaway of the game. There's the buzzer, the score for the first half, 50 to 36. Here are the highlights from the first half of this contest. Augustine was in control in the first half, scoring at ease and leading his team into the second half. Substitution on the court. Goss looks fresh coming back out. The Kentucky Wildcats are playing some great basketball out here tonight, completely dominating on the court and the scoreboard. Only halfway through this game, now starting the second half. Where's the magic coming from? Well, Mike, at the start of the second half, this team starters performed very well to grab this lead. They need to get better production out of their backs. They can't expect their starters to play this hard for an entire 40 minutes without getting worn down at the end of the ball game. The differential, 13 points. Rickard for the three. Rickard tries to answer with a three, but misses. Shoots. Well, what a beautiful pass. And coaches are very grateful when they have a kid who can pass like that. And these two kids did a great job of setting up the defense and putting it in a position to break down. That's outstanding. The Kentucky Wildcats have possession and an 11-point spread. Burnett steals it, and that's his first takeaway of the game. 11 points between these two teams. Boy, in a close game, Mike, in the second half, you've got to protect the ball against this team. Excellent steal. Really good hands. McFarlane doesn't get away with the charge there. An easy call. That will be his second foul of the contest. Takes it away. They're running the court. Zahn draws a lot of contact. He'll have a chance to get two at the line.
Rickert will sit down to avoid further foul trouble. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. Gregory throws the ball inbounds. Lampley hit it even after he had to adjust. Logan Lampley. The Sooners down 11 with the ball. He shoots. Zahn hasn't been able to help his team tonight. You know, Jay, it's got to be killing him. Oh, yeah, and they're really behind because of this kid right now. He's a kid that they really need to play well in order to win. If he doesn't get his game going, they're, need to, they're going to need to try to do something else, look to another player to try to get him going. That's a huge play, Mike. Let's take a look at the replay on this one. It's worth seeing again. Sure is, Jay, and look at that. You can really see why the ref called it so quickly. Yeah, and that's a good call. He gets the continuation after the whistle blows to complete the play. Now the free throw. With the extra point at the line, he completes a three-point play. The differential is eight. Three-pointer. Jay, that was a great feed to set up that score. And, Mike, that's his third assist. He is really looking for open teammates and finding a great court vision. Kicks it back. McFarlane with the ball up top. the leaner go up and out. Hogan missed from the corner. That three was wide open and the defense got completely lost in their coverage. Good for them it didn't drop. 11 points between these two teams. The ball inside now. Riddle draws a lot of contact. He'll have the chance to get two at the line. Goss will sit down to avoid further foul trouble. Makes his first shot at the line. With that free throw, they have been very good at the line tonight. They have, Mike, and they're being aggressive in getting to the line. The free throw line is the most efficient place to score on a basketball court. And look at how these kids have gotten there and banged them down. Burnett with the ball up top. The Kentucky Wildcats with a 13-point advantage now. The second team foul. Harsha with the inbound pass. The Oklahoma Sooners need a score here. They're down by 13. Harsha up top with the ball. it back they pass it inside Burnett can't get it to fall from eight feet Hogan could pick up his 20th point this trip down the floor Augustine is hacked and will go to the line for a couple both free throws. Harsha triggers it in. This is a 15-point lead. Takes the jumper. 
Burnett can't stop the run. A lot of nice things going on in this play, Mike. And that pass had eyes to set it up. Yeah, the feed really created the opportunity for that shot. The Sooners have a large disadvantage, 17 points behind. Boy, what a great game for this kid. A double-double already. Play after play, he's been just huge for this team. That's great playing, Mike. Harsha with it out top. Gives it back. Burnett up top. The ball passed in deep. Shot clock is at six. They have to put it up. Archer drops it in. Two for two at the line. The Oklahoma Sooners have a large disadvantage. 17 points behind. Harmon with the layup. Boy, this is one of those games where it seems like you're treading water. No matter how many shots you seem to hit, you can never take the lead. But, Mike, if they can keep doing things that they've been doing on offense and make some stops, I think they can get back into this game. This is a 15-point lead. Zahn hits the right side and comes out. Boy, a top-notch defender there doing what he loves to do. Get in your face and make your life miserable. The Sooners with a big deficit down by 15. Jay, that is so impressive, the consistency from this kid. He continues to wow this crowd with big baskets. This guy has been dictating out on offense. We'll see this one on SportsCenter tonight, but we got to see it first. Jay, he's a natural, too. These moves look like he's been doing them since he was six years old. Boy, isn't that the truth? And he makes it look all the easier because he knew exactly where he wanted to go before he made his move. And he makes the defense look bad. This is a 15-point lead. Augustine now has a dozen boards in the game. And here they come the other way. The Oklahoma Sooners will take a timeout there. Harsha throws it in. Burnett with it up top. Zahn can't drop in the runner. The Kentucky Wildcats have the ball and they have momentum. 15 of the last 21 points. The Wildcats Charles. get that Steven one and have now scored six unanswered points. 19-point differential on the scoreboard. Passes it back. They feed it inside. Hogan with the steal, and that's number two. The Wildcats with possession, a 17-6 run. Hogan capitalizes on a wide-open shot. This kid is really having a great game out there today. He's not only playing well, he's under control, and he's making the right decisions. Without this kid's effort, there's no way they'd have the lead. No basket there. The game starts. 
nothing to get away from them as they fall further behind. You know, the adjustments they made at halftime, Mike, are just not working or they're not being executed. So they need to look to some other kind of strategy right here because what they're doing is not effective. Returns the ball. Burnett out on top. Zahn has the ball up top. For two. Boy, what a beautiful pass. First defense, oh, wow. then the jumper. What's not to like? And really, the point guard saw it all coming right there and put the ball in a position to score. Billings puts the ball in play. The Kentucky Wildcats have the ball. They scored 11 of the last 13 points. The Wildcats score again. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Zach nice Lee. exchange Obviously. there for the offense. He cans the shot, and he's not known as a terrific shooter. Loose ball. Burnett up top with the ball. Zahn has it up top. Seven seconds to get the shot off. Burnett for the three. Burnett misses from the wing. The Kentucky Wildcats have the ball and they have momentum. 15 of the last 21 points. Harsha going to the bench. Gregory comes back in after sitting on the bench for a while. He completes the three-point play. McCroman throws the ball inbounds. Kicks it back. Takes the shot. Zahn hits the front iron and comes out. They push it up the court. Boy, what a move to separate from the defense and get that alley-oop to go. Perfect pass, easy bucket. Boy, and when you get two guys communicating that well and playing that well together, it's awfully difficult to guard. Side to the post. Nice rebound, and he made sure he controlled the miss. Mike, it looks like a simple rebound, but look how big these boards have added up for these guys. The more rebounds you get, the more points you put on the scoreboard. That's outstanding work on the glass. The Cats have the ball. They've scored 18 of the last 24. Romero couldn't get it to go after the hack. But draws the foul, a chance for two for a free throw strike. He hits the first free throw. Another free throw for his club. What a performance they've had at the line. They are definitely winning the battle there. And when you get to the free throw line, you are gonna be able to extend a lead. They've done a terrific job getting to the free throw line. The Sooners have been out hustled, out played, out coached. This has just been a lousy performance. The coach can't even yell at him anymore. Jay, it doesn't look good for this club. What are the stats that are standing out of you right now? Well, Mike, midway through the second half, this team is back on its heels. They're getting beat up and down the court in the transition game. They need to get back defensively and stop the other team from getting easy baskets. And on the other end, they've got to run, push tempo. They're down. They need to get some quick scores, not only in transition, but they need to look for early opportunities in their offense and pull the trigger quickly. They've got a fast break. <laughs> Stevenson is hacked and will go to the line for a couple. He may not be a good free throw shooter, but with his team in the lead, he doesn't have much pressure on him. Just step up and do your job. Don't think about missing, only about making. No problem at the line. He drops both free throws. 
Day inbounds the ball. He takes the three. The Cats with possession. They've scored 20 of the last 24 points. Not a shot to be proud of. At least I think it was a shot. Day heads to the bench. Corsell spent quite a bit of time on the bench. Now coming back in. The Sooners with a 31-point disadvantage on offense. Zahn denied. The Wildcats with possession. They've scored 20 of the last 24 points. The Wildcats Stevens score down. again. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. McFarlane with the inbound. down to six. They thread it underneath. Jay, this is exactly the kind of backcourt play that creates victories. You've got that right, Mike. And when your backcourt plays this well, it really extends the defense. Then they can start looking inside. Fast break. The Sooners score, but they are still back by double digits. Jay, they're down, but what do you think of their strategy so far? Well, I think their game plan's been good, Mike. It's just their rebounding and transition game has been horrible, and it's really keeping them down right here. I think they need to switch up their coverage a little bit, get back better on defense, and try to find a way to get an advantage down low. Look inside, and their big guys have got to be more active. Fires. The Oklahoma Sooners are limping along here on offense, down 28. Burnett up top with the ball. Zahn misses from the line. In low now. Stevenson couldn't get it to go after the hack but draws the foul, a chance for two from the free throw strike. Burnett will come out of the game because of foul trouble. Gregory comes off the floor for now. He gets the first of two. So Billings looks fresh coming back out. And he's off on the second. Stevenson with it out top. Kicks it back. Stevenson with it up top. The Cats get it back. They drop it into the low post. Seven seconds to shoot. Corsell off on that shot. Not a real good look there. Sometimes I think it's best to stick to the basics, and that's what they did right there. Well, it was perfectly placed. That's a great assist. You got that right. An unselfish play that makes the whole team look good. Nice rhythm in that offense. Billings triggers it in. It gets picked off. 
Wow, another steal. He's really playing tough on defense. Let's see if this effort can help inspire his team to get on a run and pull a little closer to the lead. Zahn can't connect with the jumper. Whitehead drains it off the glass. JJ, that's Whitehead. the way to get everybody involved. Every coach wants to see a player that's got a sense of where everybody is on the floor, that can see a pass ahead, and then has the timing to get the ball to those who have the great scoring opportunities. Playing team ball is the key ingredient to winning big games. McFarlane with the ball up top. Six left on the shot clock. They'll have to get one off in a hurry. It's on. Makes a beautiful spin to get the basket. Romero passes it in. Corsell from long range. Corsell missed from the corner. That was really solid, Mike. Grabbing big defensive rebounds in a crowd. That just really wanted the ball late in this ballgame. The Kentucky Wildcats are dominating the scoreboard as we wind down this ballgame. Jay, what are you thinking? Mike, this team has gotten out to this big lead coming down to the end of the ballgame by virtue of their fast break. They have dominated the running game, and that's why they're in the lead and probably will win unless they fall apart. Give credit to the fact they've pushed the ball up the court relentlessly all game long. It goes in deep. The Sooners get that one and have now scored six unanswered points. Oh. Romero puts the ball in play. The difference, 23 points. Throws it back. Rebounds again. He's up to seven now. Substitution on the court. McFarlane draws a lot of contact. He'll have a chance to get two at the line. his first shot at the line. And he succeeds at the strike two for two. The Wildcats bring the ball up way out on top. A 21-point lead in effect. Markham with the ball up top. Passes back. Puts it up. Gregory couldn't get it to fall, and the run doesn't stop. The Oklahoma Sooners are getting punished here. Down 21 points right now. 19-point differential on the scoreboard. Whitehead misses and doesn't stop the run. Burnett couldn't get it to go after the hack, but draws the foul. He'll get a chance for a deuce at the line. He hits the first free throw. He gets them both. Doesn't get the bucket, and the drought continues. The Kentucky Wildcats will take a timeout there. Harsha will come back into the game. Augustine comes back in after 
after sitting on the bench for a while. This is a 15-point lead. They pass it inside. Riddle misses, and the run continues. Goss holds down the offensive board. He can't complete the three-point play. Burnett with the steal, and that's number two. Well, you've got to be impressed with the way this team continues to defend late in the second half. They've got the lead, and that's the type of play that can put a game away. Jay, that's just making it way too easy for these guys. I don't see a lot of pressure on defense. What can they do? If they pick up their defense, they can build upon this lead. It's no big surprise if you give open shots, they're knocking them down. Augustine is hacked and will go to the line for a pair. Burnett with four fouls and is really in trouble now. He can't get the first. He does nail the second free throw. Harsha throws it in. The Oklahoma Sooners... Possession trailing by a dozen. The Sooners score again. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Down to a minute 54. Inside now with the ball. The Kentucky Wildcats come away with the hoop and a 12-point lead. Jay, they're winning tonight, and right now the reasons seem pretty obvious. Yeah, it's effort, Mike. They're out hustling their opponent on the glass. They're rebounding the ball, and they've really capitalized on their fast break points by running the court, and they're getting everybody down, putting a lot of pressure on that transition defense. This has been beautiful basketball. McFarlane out on top. You know, they got some defense on him, but it didn't do any good. He knocked the shot down anyway. Just seemed to ignore the pressure and picks up three. That's really solid perimeter play on his part. Great shot. Pretty cool, isn't he? Augustine triggers it in. Nine-point game we've got going. Now, here's a kid that's given a spectacular performance, but it hasn't really shown up on the scoreboard. You can ignore the fact he's got a double-double, but without his contributions, they'd be in a much deeper hole right now. He can't get the first. He does nail the second free throw. And he nails the third. Augustine inbounds the ball. The Kentucky Wildcats have the ball, and it's a seven point lead. Less than a minute to go. It's not going to be easy to come back, but not impossible either. Boy, this is tough, Mike. You've got to score and then go down and play strong defense without fouling and then go down and score again. It is not going to be easy, but don't put it past this team to make a comeback here. Harsha has the ball up top. The Cats decide to call a timeout. Zahn will pick up the personal. He gets hit with his fourth foul of the game and in the bonus. So we'll head to the strike for one and one. He can't get the first. Augustine couldn't get it to fall and the run doesn't stop. The Sooners take their last time out. Throws it in. 
He's just picked up foul number five. He'll have to sit the rest of this out. Not only that, but because of the double bonus, we'll head to the line for two shots. He can't get the first. McCroman will leave the floor. He sinks the second. Sooners have a chance to take the lead here late in the second half. Goss couldn't get it to go after the hack, but draws the foul. He'll get a chance for a deuce at the line. He makes his first shot at the line. Harmon spent court. quite a bit of time on the bench. Now coming back in. His second attempt is off. Harmon is called for the foul. He's just picked up his third foul so far. The double bonus is in effect. So we go to the line for the deuce. He hits both free throws. Jay, what do you like here? I think they can go for a three here, Mike. Send this game into overtime, but they've got to get a good shot. Something open. Move the ball around and look for a guy outside of that line. On the court. Lampley will leave the floor. He's really been struggling so far. Decides he wants him back out there. He can't get the first. Harmon will come out of the game because of foul trouble. Billings going to the bench. He sinks the second. The Kentucky Wildcats call timeout. Harmon spent quite a bit of time on the bench. Now coming back in. Gregory comes off the floor for now. Was a perfect two for two at the line. They drop it into the low post. Goss with the buzzer beat there, but he misses.
And that's the end of the game. The final score, 100 to 96. Holy cow, what a ball game. Let's go to the highlight. The Wildcats showed some real character tonight and came out victorious. These two really had it their way and deserve tonight's Burger King Player of the Game for their respective teams.